guides welcome to our placement oriented coding question tutorial by your host and host mr suraj pawar sir from leadsoft placement academy so if you guys are haven't check with the last question in the last video we guys have discussed that cut and add strings problems if you haven't check with that please go to our coding question playlist and check over there and if you are new to our channel make sure you can uh, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification because every, on daily basis we are uploading two videos here in the channel so that you will get the notification and you can watch that knowledgeable video at your side so uh, today we guys are going to be discuss one more coding question which will which I have asked in accenture 2022 drive uh, sorry 2021 drive uh, tcs capgemini atos Intel, and hcl so that is most of the popular question why we are covering the previous and uh, the ongoing campus placement question is to understand the level of that placement question how we guys are going to evaluate and at the same time how to be deal with these kind of questions to better know about that approaches we are taking all these questionaries right here so let us begin the same so the name of the question here is lost in the forest you guys can see on a screen so this is the question what is this question all about let us check with that so we are going to be implement this question lost in the forest what is this lost in the forest provided in input let us check this so a boy is lost in a infinitely long one dimensional jungle infinitely long one dimensional jungle which means what in a program i can say the dynamic array dynamic array which means the array roads don't have a specific length and it should be uh, the single dimensional array well coming to the programming languages if i wanted to implement a dynamic container those not bothered with the size well in python i should go with the list and well in uh, java programming i should go with the array list their array list or a vector or anything that doesn't concern uh, with the size of the container so the jungle is such that if the boy is standing at the location n okay if the boy is standing at the location n then after the next step he would move to the location n by 2 okay location n by 2 if that n is what e1 and it will move to 3n plus 1 if the n is what odd so we have to move that like if uh, by uh, depends on the value of n if the n is even so i am going to move to the n by 2 and if the sorry yeah if n is even we are going to move to the n by 2 and if n is odd we are going to move to the 3n plus 1 now however there is a magic door okay so somewhere i have to stop this moving so where i have to stop the moving as there is a magic door in the jungle that take him to any location n he wants to go the location between 1 and m okay so which means the loop is there available and that loop is what uh, like it is going to start with 1 and it's with the m so both are including but it is going to be iterated just only at the ones and i have to find out the location that the boy should go to such he reaches the maximum number of locations in the forest so from where he should be start and what will be the maximum location that he can able to reach that we are going to be provided in the output right there so coming to the input specification so we are going to provide the value of m as an input that mentioned here that i have to iterate over the loop where 1 to m and both are including and in the output specification i have to return the location where the boy should go first and if there are multiple answer then we have to return the largest one from there so largest path i have to take it from uh, that respective location to the one and then i have to show that there in the output so you guys can see here 
as the input is five so if he selects three so he can go like as the three is what even or odd number so three is the odd number so he will move to the three and plus one so three and plus one means like three as three and plus one so three multiplied by three nine plus one is what next it is moving to the ten again what is ten ten is a even number so it will comes to n by two that is what five so again five five is a odd number so it will move to the three and plus one that is sixteen and likewise we have to reach it to the one and that maximum number okay as it returns with the maximum number so i have to print that starting point as a three right there and in the same input again the value of m is 10 and it returns the output as a 9 because from the 9 onwards the maximum distance of that locations we are supposed to be reaching with now let us write a code for the same as we have to be goes for all these locations and we have to store that value till we are getting 1 so what should be the logic for this question as i have to iterate the for loop from 1 to value of m where, where the 1 is also include and m is also include for every single value of this iteration that we guys are going to be taken with i am going to be followed with these conditions if the m is even and m is odd and i will store all these values to one of temporary list and i am going to make all these operations done till i will get receives with the one so for all the elements we are going to store the value along with the dictionary right there or along with the list right there and then we will retain it out the maximum length of that element we will return that value right there so let us check that output how we guys are going to be formed with the code so firstly i have to write a skeleton for the same so let me open the ideally here so i'm going to create a one single function i guess see let us open that the last one code all right so here i'm going to write that changes so i'm going to create a function let us say lost in forest and having the value of m as an argument so i'm going to write that code later so what i need to do i have to take the m as a input value from the keyboard i have to pass it to the lost in forest and then i have to print that result right there so let us first do write with the skeleton so as far as we have inputted with the value of m now we guys are going to input the value of n also sorry uh, directly calling the function that is what results equals to lost in forest and the value of m and then we are going to print that results right there so as far as the code concern or the logic concern here what we guys needs to do is i have to iterate over that list so and uh, over that uh, one two value of m and for every value of m i have to find out the n by using this formula if it is even or odd and this we are going to be iterate till the value of n gets to the 1 and if it is gets to the 1 we will get it stop and we will print that length or a count of elements that length is what count of elements directly to the dictionary or to the list and this is how we can able to receive the location by which we can able to reach to the maximum uh, or the maximum locations right there so i'm going to create a dictionary here where i'm going to store the element and how many counts of elements does it uh, like reaches to that location that i'm going to store in a key and value pair so as per the problem statement i have to start looping from 1 to m both are including so i'm going to say for i in the range of it starts by 1 and it uh, m include means i have to write m plus 1 well for every single thing i have to calculate the count of that value those are reaches till one so for this i am designing n because on basis of n only we are going to decide if it is even or odd what is going to be happen well that n is what the value of i so i am going to create a count variable that will is going to counting the value depends on that same approach so i don't know how many iterations are going to be done 
uh, till making that value of n to the one. So I'm going to use here while loop and saying that n must be greater than or equals to one. So if the n is greater than or equals to one, well, I have to check for even and odd. So if my n is even, that is what n modulus two equals to equals to zero. So I'm going to say n equals to n divided by two and I'm going to increment the count by the plus one. As if the n is odd, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to say n equals to three multiplied by n, okay, plus one. And at the same time, I'm going to increment that count by the plus one. And simultaneously, the same task is going to be happened till the value of n becomes as a one. So for every single element of i, that is what iteration from one to m plus one, we are receiving the count properly. And then after completion of while, what I'm going to do, I'm going to store that count in the format of maximum and minimum value. So in the dictionary, I'm going to store like dictionary of count so that I can able to get the maximum count equals to that element of i. And then return, what I need to do is I have to return the maximum count. Okay, before returning with that, how this dictionary will represent, let us check with that. So here I will, I'm going to check with the input. So input is five. So let us check with that. How does it is going to be represent? So I'm going to run the code. So input is five. So you guys can see for zero, it is storing only one. For one, it is storing the count of two. For seven, it is storing, uh, okay, for seven elements, it is storing the count of, uh, sorry, for uh, three, it is storing the count of seven elements. For four, it is storing the count of two elements. For five, it is storing the count of five elements. Well, I have to take the maximum value and to return the maximum as it's a key value of the dictionary. So I can directly say return. Okay, here after printing that result, I am going to say return the max of result and the max of result will return the maximum key value and in this case is what seven but we are not required seven we required that position of i where the maximum elements are supposed to be reached with so i'm going to say return that result of max of result now let us check with this how does it is going to appear so the value of m that we are going to be input five and you guys can see the output three does it returns with right there. Okay, second input also we are going to take that is what 10. So let us check with that too. So for the 10, you guys can see for one, which means at the first iteration, it is storing zero. For the second iteration, it is storing one. For the third iteration, it is storing seven. For the fourth iteration, it is storing two. For the fifth, again fifth. For the sixth iteration, it is storing eight. For the seventh iteration, it is storing 16. For the third, eight iteration, it is storing three. And for the nine iteration, it is storing 19. So the maximum element returns at the ninth iteration. So nine is going to be returned by the function. Now, well, if you wanted to use it in a Java programming, so you guys can have either a hash map or uh, the array list to array list concept and by which we can able to make them return successfully. Instead of that, what second logic that we guys are going to be followed if I really don't know what is dictionary and how to be work with them. So I'm going to say like result initially equals to zero and that would be the maximum value. And instead of storing the result of count and returning with them, what I'm going to do after completion of while, if my count variable is greater than result, so I'm going to say result equals to what? that value of i where the i is going to be stored well 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 okay that uh, count must be getting stored and 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 one more thing that we guys needs to do here is i ha i have to require one more variable that is about count so if my uh, count is greater than the uh, okay this count is greater than the expected count then I'm going to say that count equals to first CNT and that results equals to value of I. And then we can able to return the value of result from here. Let us check with this. 
so i am going to be input phi u and for the phi u the output returns as phi u because okay okay so let me check what are the values of count and count does it getting printed after the while loop so let me check it here once so that can we work out with the values okay so this is the count 0010 Seven. Well, after the seven, okay, counts are uh, 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 here in the allocatement. I got mistake. All right. Okay. Now, now let us check with this. So I am going to rerun the code. So this is for you. And yeah, does it returns with the three? So if you don't know how to be works with dictionary, so same logic you guys can apply now. Let us enter for the ten also, so it returns with the nine. So using both of the logics as you feel comfortable, we can able to write with the code. And again in the same approach, try to convert the same code into the Java programming or C plus plus. And if you definitely have any difficulty to solve the questions, post me there in the comment section. We are always ready to resolve your doubts. Again, one more thing. as i'm saying on daily basis you guys are supposed to be get with this kind of questions to our channel so if you are really new to our channel please make sure you are subscribes and turn on the notification and but obvious if you are getting the logic of this code and how to be crack then do give us the thumbs up that will be a great motivation motivation for us and do share to the needful people thanks for watching this video